Hello everyone, so this is the package or uh, the box that I received from Vodafone, yes Vodafone and uh, basically what I, uh, what I have been trying to do for the past uh, one month, I, oh no, in fact not one month, in fact past two months, I am trying to get a fiber here in my house and uh, fiber is of course uh, I mean, we all know about the benefits. Fiber is super fast. Uh, the normal, I mean, 1 Gbps is uh, definitely possible. Right now, I have uh, Now TV internet connection. Uh, you, you can see on my TV, there is a Now TV screen saver. So the current speed that I have or I had for the past six years is 36 Mbps. And 36 Mbps is more than enough for my needs, but I know that here in the UK, I think there's a plan to, uh, to, 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 to basically uh, get rid of the old telephone lines and everything will be fiber moving forward, I believe. I, I don't know the deadline, I guess it is 2025, something like that. But I thought, okay, now it is the time, not it is the right time to get fiber connection. And I basically uh, went to the I went to their website, you know, vodafone.co.uk, I signed up and uh, they told me that yes, uh, uh, everything is done. I, 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 you know, did all the booking and they were supposed to send uh, an, an, an engineer. So here in, U in the UK, or at least in this area where I live, uh, there is a company called City Fiber. I think around two years ago or maybe last year, they dug up a uh, not a hole, but basically they laid their cables, the fi I guess the fiber cables, and uh, in front of every house, there is a there is a point. So when you basically need a fiber connection, they will basically uh, drill something, like basically from that particular point onwards to your house, they will basically uh, lay another cable, they will run a cable, and that particular cable will basically be, it's like, you know, fiber end-to-end, -end. like it, there is no like, uh, uh, I mean, it's like a true fiber connection. And that is why it is so fast. So when the engineers came for the very first time, they told me that uh, they, so basically in front of my house, uh, I have a f small front garden. And uh, I also have some stone uh, uh, slabs in front of my house. So they told me that they don't really have the right equipment to cut that stone. So I told them, okay, not a problem. You can come back again whenever you have the right equipment. So I booked the appointment again. Second time when the engineers came, they again uh, didn't really bring the equipment and uh, they couldn't uh, do the installation again. So I did the booking twice. And, uh, and of course, I still don't have the connection. Uh, so I'm not really sure about uh, what to do next. I guess I'll probably just live with my 36 Mbps now TV connection uh, because it is still working fine. I have absolutely no problems with it. Uh, I think in the last six years, I don't really think, I can't re really remember uh, downtime of more than three or four times. Now TV is, uh, is if you don't know, now TV is... Uh, is a sub subsidiary company of Sky TV. So if Sky is down, then Sky TV is down, then Now TV is also down, or Sky Broadband. So, but of course, I was hoping to get a proper fiber connection. There are a lot of other companies, like, I mean, City Fiber is basically the company that will do the installation. So they are responsible for the actual fiber, but the companies are Vodafone, Zen Broadband, and uh, there, there are a lot of other companies. So you can go to cityfiber.co.uk and you can actually find out uh, the, uh, the, 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 the operators uh, who can potentially uh, provide you service. So they basically sent me this uh, box and I don't know, I, I don't really know what to do with this particular box. In this particular box, they have uh, their uh, equipment, basically their router. And this, I, I chose Vodafone because they also, it was of course, uh, offering, uh, I mean, the, 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 I think it was like 30 something pounds or maybe, I, I don't really remember. I think it, yeah, I think it was, it was 30 pounds per month 
for a two year contract and uh, they also sent me apart from the router they also have a sim card and a backup uh, dongle so in case their main router or in case their internet goes down you can actually use the dongle uh, along with the 5g sim and uh, i was definitely hoping for my vodafone pro broad broadband to go live but unfortunately it has been more than a month my my, my first engineers my first city fiber engineers appointment was on 14th of september of course yeah they, they did come but they couldn't install it my second appointment was last week they came but again they didn't bring the right appointment and i know i can book one more appointment but i don't really think the engineers who will come again they will have the right equipment to cut the stone i think it's a common thing because here in in, in the uk usually if if there's a house with a front garden you will have some kind of like proper stoned uh, or, or some some kind some kind of like maybe mar if, if not really marble but uh, sometimes the front garden is not always uh, like grass or mud or gravel usually it is or sometimes it is or it could be proper stone slabs so i think city fiber need to probably think about it and they should do something about it right because fiber is definitely the future i have uh, fiber internet in delhi in fact uh, it is very common nowadays and uh, when i went to india last time in august i booked it a day before and i got the fiber installation within just uh, one day of booking uh, and uh, of course you know they just uh, ran a cable from the pole to my house and i was up and running with i think uh, 100 mbps connection or i think 200 mbps connection in just one day but here in the uk it is not the same anyways something to something to take something to to think about uh, the engineer who came to my house second time he told me that he suggested me that i should probably get a fence and it, it's a bit funny because i don't really want to uh, get a fence just for the installation because my front garden is uh, uh, so basically my neighbors i do have a fence on the right hand side but on the left hand side there is no fence uh, so i share it with my i mean my my neighbor's front garden is uh, uh, is basically i mean there is there's like a boundary and we do have like a temp, like like a wire which is like a boundary like a fence but it is not a proper fence and i can get a fence installed but i don't really want to pay someone like thousands of pounds just to get a internet connection all right that is it that is all i wanted to talk about today in this video a, a bit of a rant but i think i need to share this all right bye bye